Man, it must have been a big game. I got Tim here. Hot dog. Or I've done something bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sounded good, though, didn't it? All right, anybody, go ahead, please. Coaches, your overall thoughts about how you all play defensively tonight? Listen, if you don't score, you don't win, Polly. You score more points, you win. Offensively, we're fantastic. It's the best we've played. It's the first time we've played someone that's that's played, I'd say, 90% man-to-man. You know, our first three, three games, everybody played his own. So we were able to actually get some players in space, put put them in places that, that, that they succeed, and we, we were really, really good at the all offensive end. And if you even have to ask me what I thought we were defensively, then I've got a long – I lose a lot of respect for you. We just gave up 82 points, and they shot 61%. It was pitiful. But I got to give them a lot of, of, of credit, too. It's what I always say. I tell our kids, like, the you know, last shot that five made, that little step back off one foot, you know, it was a heck of a shot. But at that point, when you're shooting 60% as a team, you, you think anything's going, it's going to go in. And that's why I keep trying to tell our players, when you give teams confidence that they can make them, every shot's going in. But they are a, they are a good basketball team. They score the ball well. Uh, their point guard, which I've said it, you know, in the pregame pre, uh, presser the other day, she's big time. I mean, she, she can flat out play. Uh, she transferred in from Kansas, 14 assists, sees the floor great. And I, I think she may have had five and five and a half. I think she had nine assists possibly in the, in, in the second half. Uh, you know, so you've got it. It's a really good team. They're going to win a lot of basketball games. So, you know, I, I think it says a lot about our, our program to even play them because mo- most don't, you know, and it wasn't a bye game. We played out there th- this past year. Seeing as how they finished the second half, I mean, how important was that that you all had that, that first quarter defensively to really kind of slow them down, you know, keep them out of the lane and, and tie them up a couple of times? Well, it was big, and that's kind of what we talked to them about after the first quarter was they've had – they played at Washington State, and Washington State jumped up on them 13 or 14 after the first quarter, and then they played them even throughout. And that's one thing I tried to explain to our players. They do a – Gordy's a really good coach. He makes – he made some adjustments and really did a nice job of, of trying to slow us up some. And then I thought they scored easier as they saw what we were trying trying to do defensively as well. Ms. Pablo, were you more concerned about their three-point shooting at the beginning or just the pace that they showed ultimately in the second half? Well, I was more concerned about their their three-point shooting. Um, you know, Lou, Lufer can shoot it as well as anybody. Uh, Hodgkins, 14, is a shooter. Uh, 44 was 7 of 14 co- uh, coming into the game. They're a 6'4 post player. So we were concerned about – their ability to shoot shoot to three, and we talked to our players. They they're as good as anybody in the country on getting the ball out of the net after a make. They get that thing up the floor as quick as anybody I've seen, men or women, and it's pretty impressive. We tried to set up a press twice and couldn't even get set up because it got inbound so quick. So, you know, that's a, a tribute to them, but that's how they also like to play. They want to get it up and down. The reason for inserting four starters back in the lineup. Well, they were coming back. Oh, it wasn't just. Yeah, no, I mean, they were coming back and, and making a game out of it. The last thing you want is to let this thing get under 10, and then all of a sudden you put some people back in the game and it's too late. Um, so it's, it's one of those we, you know, we had good players out there at that time, but unfortunately we weren't defensively doing what we needed to do. Offensively, we were stagnant. So, you know, I like to win. That's that's job number one. <laughs> On turnovers and points up turnovers, you did have a pretty good idea. No, we did a great job. I, I thought offensively is the best performance we've had. We took care of the basketball. We held them. We only turned it over ten times. We we turned them over twenty times. Uh, and if we can continue to turn turn it over ten times a game, we're we're in business. Because I really thought we we, we did a great job. Uh, our, our post play 
Yeah, our post play, right, it's plain and simple. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, we had all three of our post players at 50% or better. And, I mean, I think two games ago we were like six for 20 when I combined our two posts. We're finishing around the basket. We've really been working hard on simple mic and drills, reverse mic and two ball mic and just to try to work on our hands and our, our, our concentration on finishing. And, you know, it, it, it's paid off for us. I, I thought Kylie was much more aggressive offensively. Uh, Liz took her time and finished around the, the, the basket with both her left and, and right hand. She steps up, you know, she goes three for four at the free throw line. So it's just, it's going to be a work in progress. I've said it all along. We have four players. Right now it's a nine-player rotation, a ten-player rotation. We have four new ones. You know, Yassine didn't play. She played three games all last year. Norika's in a completely different country, adjusting to language and style of play. And then Elizabeth and Liz transferred up and get eligible. So it's going to take. It's going to take a lot more time than what we've just done right now of getting everyone adjusted and on the same page. To bounce off of that, coach, you knew that you would have some growing pains, and you're trying to let the players play through that. But for you as a coach, is it difficult a little bit sometimes when you're watching them out there just to try to let them play through some struggles? I mean, it, that that that's part of our job. I mean, it, again, you allow kids to play through some struggles when you're up 17, 18. You know, if, if it's – a two or three 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 point game. I've I've explained to some of them. I can't have you out there defensively in a tight game if you can't figure it out. And that's that's where you've got film. It's it's nice when you when you can get up like this, and you've got some starters out there that play are going to hopefully play significant minutes for you, and you can show them where they ha- have to change. So it's it's the best thing about it. Film does not lie. It's not my opinion on film. It's fact. What kind of big can you give us on the second and Molly right now? Um, Molly actually is about on the ultra G. She's running, I think, about eighty percent of her body weight right now. She feels good. She they're they're doing a great job conditioning outside the, pri- the the practice court. So she's probably another two weeks away from from what I've from what I've been told about being able to actually get on the floor and start doing some practicing. Um, and then sagging is just a matter of how she continues to feel. She had a deep bone bruise inside the ankle, and she tried to play through it, but it was never getting better. So the only way you you can get that better is by taking off, and that and that's what she's done. So hopefully, when we come back from St. Thomas, she might be able to start getting back on the court a little bit and, and just going through some things. Before the season, you said that it was different this year because you were starting maybe with a two out of ten. Are you ahead of schedule, do you think? And what, if you had to put a number on it, where do you think you are right now? Well, after tonight's game, I'd say we're at a four. You know, because offensively, we look pretty darn good. But defensively, we, we have some room to improve. Um, but it, it, it's going to take us. I mean, I, I'll give you a better evaluation come, mid, come mid-December. You know, Boy, Boise State's a good basketball team. There's no question about that. I mean, for people that don't know enough about women's basketball, you know, you might be like, ah, oh, it's Boise State. They play on the blue turf. But if you have any knowledge of women's basketball, you know what, where, what their program is. You know how solid they are. Uh, so our wins over Western Kentucky, Central Michigan, and Boise are going to be three good wins come March because all three of those programs are, 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 are going to win a lot of basketball games.